Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackal Educational Channel. So this is the part 5 for the UGC NET Environmental Science NET 2020 exam paper solution in which we will discuss the questions which came in that exam and discuss the important points and get ready for the next examination. So we will also know a trick to remember in this video and make sure you have joined the telegram and instagram page the links are provided in the description to extend your preparation for the environmental science entrances so let's start today's video so among the five questions which we will be going to deal in this video the first question is on your screen so the question was which among the following is the short lived species in the atmosphere and i will wait for certain seconds then i will reveal the answer So here the correct option will be option number 4. Yes, OH radical is the short lived species in the atmosphere among the four options and questions can come from the twist in any form for this OH radical and it has been seen that is one of the frequent last questions. So I have made a separate note for the short lived species that is the OH radical. So OH radical is called as hydroxyl radical and here why it is called as radical because it is not written as OH minus so it is written as OH dot so it is the short lived species it is called as short lived species it is also called as atmospheric detergent you should note down all these things because question also came that which is called as atmospheric detergent it is also known as the atmospheric scavenger one more name is given that it is the one of the most reactive species in the atmosphere so why is it called a radical so it is radical because it is having that electron which is unpaired so the first and important thing for that radical is to react with other species and to make a pair and it is highly reactive because it easily becomes hydroxy groups so after reacting this OH radical that is hydroxyl radical it forms the hydroxy group so again I am repeating this is different than the hydroxyl ion so hydroxyl ion is noted as OH minus but this hydroxyl radical is noted as OH dot so these are very important kindly note down let's move to the next question the next question is coming up on your screen the question is traditionally membranes have been classified based on the minimum size of the contaminant that is excluded from the passing through the particular membrane so this is talking about the membranes which are separating or cleaning the water mostly and they are because of the size of the contaminant that is coming out of that membrane so the question asks is arrange the following in the correct sequence of the decreasing pore size so these are the different types of techniques in which different pore size are used to eliminate different waste material from the water mostly and you have to correctly sequence it in the decreasing pore size so before knowing that we should know what is the pore size and all in the next slide so here comes the brahmastra that is the concept you should know that four techniques are very important microfiltration ultrafiltration nanofiltration and reverse osmosis so in this steps the water is purified and different particles are segregated basis of the on the basis of the different pore size so in the microfiltration the pore size is 10 micrometer to 100 nanometer size and in the ultrafiltration you should write down that the pore size is from 10 nanometer to 100 nanometer in nanofiltration the pore size is from 1 nanometer to 10 nanometer and reverse osmosis is having the least pore size of less than 1 nanometer so in the first step that is microfiltration what are the things which are separated Giardia, crypto and bacteria are separated and what are not separated they are colloids, viruses, color, hardness of the water, pesticides, salts and the water itself present. But in the next step that is in ultrafiltration colloids and viruses are eliminated but the color of the water is same hardness, pesticides, salts are present in the water. Similarly in the third steps the color is removed that is we are getting a decent color for the water and hardness and pesticides are also removed but the salts and water are present in the water so in the last step that is very important in reverse osmosis mostly the salts are eliminated and we get the purified water so it is very important you should note down all this and make this picture so now it's time to answer this question that what is the correct sequence so correct sequence will be option number three yes microfiltration will be first then followed by ultrafiltration 
then it will be followed by the nano filtration and finally the decreased size that is the least size of the pore will be of reverse osmosis that is the fourth one so what is the trick to remember the trick to remember is that this says that m u n and r o so that is micro filtration ultra filtration nano filtration and reverse osmosis so that is the sequence of decreasing order you should remember decreasing order of the pore size of the membrane for separating the contaminants from the water so the trick is municipality se hame milta hai pani so we get water from the municipality and then we treat it in the ro that is the reverse osmosis present in the aquifers which we are having in our home so from municipality we get the water and then we treat in the ro so mun ro you can remember or municipality ro you can remember that means micro filtration ultra filtration nano filtration and reverse osmosis so i hope it will be helpful for you let's move to the next question so the next question is again on your screen the question was asked in the 2020 net examination the question was your control used in the wind turbine generator is a what so i'll wait for certain seconds and already the picture is on your screen you can easily answer so here the correct option will be option number 2 yes your control used in the wind turbine generator is a mechanism to keep the rotor axis of the wind generator the turbine along the wind direction so it is not along the perpendicular to the wind direction it is along the wind direction so we'll see in this picture that this is the rotor axis in which the rotor moves and here we have to keep the rotor axis along the wind direction as you can see here the wind direction is given so from where the wind is coming that side the rotor axis should face so that is along the wind direction and that is called as the yaw system so this is the yaw system which keeps the rotor axis along the wind direction so let's move to the next question so the next question is identify the correct sequence so again one more sequence is coming up of steps involved in the development of a model so this is asking about the environmental modeling if you are doing for any work then what is the correct sequence so here you should know that for any environmental modeling first of all you should identify the problem so the identification will be the first step then what we will do after identifying the problem we should formulate a hypothesis that this can be the possible reason this can be done so that is the hypothesis formulation so formulation will be the second step after that what we will do we will find a solution to the problem what can be done to treat or to prevent the environmental hazard that is the solution that is coming to the third step and finally we will validate all those things that is coming in the validation process so here c will be first then followed by the b then d then a so option number 3 will be the correct option in the sequence of development of a model let's move to the next question so here comes the final question of this video so this question is for a given noise signal what would be the correct order of noise indices in terms of the increasing values and the noise indices given are l10 l50 l1 and l90 so i'll wait for certain seconds and then i will reveal the answer so here we will move to the next slide to know the noise indices and their levels so as you can see the graph is in front of your screen and here on the x axis we are having the time and when the y axis we are having the sound pressure level in decibel so here the l10 is having the maximum value in this graph after that it is followed by l50 then followed by l90 here the minimum noise level is seen in the noise indices so l10 l50 l90 all are the noise indices and you should note down l1 comes above the l10 which is not mentioned in the graph but you should note down so as you can see l1 will be the maximum value for the noise indices the number is less that is one is less but one the noise indices value is maximum as the number increases that means l10 l50 l90 the noise level decreases so that is the trick to remember as the number value increases after the l the noise value decreases in the noise indices so here what will be the sequence i have said number is less but the noise indices will be more that means 
L1 will be the maximum value but here it is asking in terms of increasing value so we have to go from the lower to higher value lower will be the L90 that is 1 followed by L52 L10 will be 3 and L1 will be the fourth one so D will be the first option followed by the B that means option number 4 will be the correct option so I hope you have learned something new from here and you have to learn that trick also that is municipality RO so see you guys in our next video don't forget to subscribe the channel for more such videos and all the best for your preparation keep smiling